A garbage truck took out more than just the trash on Monday. A homeowner in East Nashville says it did at least $10,000 in damage when it pulled down wires connected to her house. News Channel 5's Hannah McDonald tells us about this expensive cleanup. This was pulled away. Um, this was snapped. This was completely off. Bethany Bauman is lucky she wasn't standing here in her carport on trash day. You know, I'm very fortunate that there were not children walking past, that no one was hurt, that a fire didn't start in my home. This video captures the tail end of trash pickup at Bauman's house on Monday. That big flash her neighbors believe shows the moment a garbage truck yanked down the power lines that crossed the street to Bauman's house. Damages half her out about $10,000 so far. This was down here, <laughs> and then the fascia from the roof was in the middle of the driveway. It bothers her that the city contracted garbage truck just drove off. If you damage something, take ownership of it, um, don't run away. That part feels really icky to me. Metro Water Services says Platform Waste Solutions, the company that took over for Red River Waste, did tell their office. The city also said wires are supposed to be a certain height for trash and fire trucks to get under. On this street, apparently they were not. I'm sure you can smell my garbage right now. I had to empty out my whole refrigerator and freezer. She didn't have to put everything in her freezer in the garbage. She said good neighbors have made this whole week bearable. They really have rallied and I can't thank them enough for just being awesome. Bauman says accidents happen. This one just could have been dealt with better by the city. In East Nashville, Hannah McDonald, News Channel 5. Now, just this afternoon, someone from the trash company visited the homeowner. Originally, she wanted the city to be held responsible for the damage. Fortunately, her insurance will reimburse her costs if that's what it comes to.